Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.2 SD4 dynamic all-wheel drive. 2013 on a 13 plate. Has done 65,115 miles. Fuel economy. Urban, 35.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 49.6 miles per gallon. And combined is 43.5 miles per gallon. A 0-60 time of 8 seconds, top speed of 121 miles per hour, out of 190 brake horsepower, 4 cylinder, 16 valve engine. 6 months road tax is £132 and 12 months is 240 So we've got the black Range Rover grille and the black badge, front parking sensors, xenon headlamps, front fogs and high pressure headlamp wash, plastic wheel arch protectors, multi-spoke alloy wheels, the black vents here, black door mirror caps, black roof, and it's a full panoramic roof with a electric shade band inside, rear privacy glass. We've got the rear tailgate spoiler with a wiper hidden up in there. Electric boot release, load cover, Split folding rear seats, there's a power socket in there. It has got a full size metal wheel, uh, which I assume somebody's uh, just bought for peace of mind because probably come with a, you know, just an inflator kit otherwise. Uh, very, very nice car, nice and tidy, lovely all round. Reversing sensors in the back there and the little black kind of uh, diffuser splitter there with the twin chrome exhaust tips. Lovely in the back here, black leather upholstery with this contrast stitching, uh, really finishes it off. With the pan roof, it's it's a completely different car with a, with a pan roof. Nice light and airy in the back. I'll, I'll just, I'll cut another bit in where I, I shut the, uh, the the blind which comes over here. Of course you can, you can, you can have it closed when it's baking sunshine, uh, but, uh, it's, it's really, it's nice, light and airy. Um, the seats are sculpted, so there's a little bit more knee room. There's kind of a parcel stroke magazine net there. We have the rear central armrest, two cup holders, and a, a little kind of oddments tray there. I have got the headrests already up. Um, if you're an adult, you obviously you, you need to, otherwise they, they're right in the middle of your back and it's, it's pretty uncomfortable. But it is, it's a lovely car, it really is nice. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Two remote keys there. Um, let me just see. Just stop that sliding around. Put that somewhere where it's not going to rattle. And then keyless ignition we've got a proper service book here third of the fourth 2013 at 5910 miles Hillendale Land Rover ninth of the fourth 2015 15734 uh, at Nelson, 31st of 3rd 2016 at 27.208, Farnell at Nelson again, 7th of 4th 2014 at 37.731, Farnell at Nelson, 28th of 3rd 2018 at 57.130, Farnell at uh, Nelson, and uh, there's, there's no service here. Now wheel service, it's, uh, it's now done. One second. Oh gosh, went past it. 85.122, so we'll service it before it goes out. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna ring up uh, Land Rover, see if I can find 
it's unusual when it's been serviced like uh, so and was probably due um, March 2020. Having said that, we've had lockdown, of course, so that, that could probably explain why it wasn't done at that particular time. So, lovely car. Finished in, I think it's Stornoway Grey with the black leather upholstery. Automatic. Oh, let's see, we'll just. Power folding door mirrors. Can't just remember where the very. It's got front and rear parking sensors. Just check. And it's got a reversing camera too, so that's uh, that's good there. You can see the like rugby goal post, which that shows you where your car's going to go if you keep your steering angle at that. Nice checker plate aluminium uh, around the gear tunnel and the dashboard. Meridian speakers, which are really, really good. And the sound system. Let's just see if we go into audio settings there. There we go. The tone, balance and fade, reset all. So it's um, sat nav, you see there it's telling you, even on the menu screen it's telling you where you are, what road. So we can then just agree we're not gonna get distracted. And you've got the map there. Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel change the volume of your uh, audio system there and flick channels and so on we've got cruise control on the right just here telephone controls and you can in the center of the dashboard is your information display and you can also change certain aspects of the car the setup Great gearbox, nice and smooth. It uh, accelerates away nice. I'll just go back to this. So that's the, the vehicle set up there. If I click, you've got speed warning, alarm sensors, cruise eco data, reverse dip mirror, and activate warning. Whatever's whatever's that for? Nice, nice clear display. Speedo on the left. Rev counter on the right, and as I say, your information display in the centre. Just check that he. There we go. Electric door mirrors are working correctly. Yep, everything everything good there. Car drives nice. No wobbles as we're braking there or driving. The heated seats, your climate control here, CD radio. If we go over to audio there Not audio video to see the city franchise let's just turn that down that's an audio book see if we can play some music hey siri play music i'm on it playing all songs shuffled now i've probably cut myself up there because if i turn that up me yellow river that's a blast from the past that was out when i was about 14. um yeah i might have caught myself up by playing music because it may just interfere with that camera and knock it off hopefully we'll uh, we'll see steering's great feel a lot through the steering wheel nice and solid 
great grip. Bad bend this. I don't think he's finished doing um, stupid manoeuvres, so we'll just hang back. Just clip that on to another record, oh, one of my favourite records. Might just have to uh, turn this up. Oh, it's a young lady. We'll just get to 70. Cruise control is there. Click that. One touch. Ah, oh, that must be the cruising average. It shows you your CO2 average. Unbelievable. You've got something that shows a, a CO2 average that when it goes wrong and you have to fit another one will cause so much CO2. It wasn't worth fitting in the first place. So there we go, 70 miles an hour. Round about 1750, 1800 revs. Nice and smooth. To so say, I love the pan roofs on, on vehicles. It makes so much difference inside. Especially if you like dark interiors like me. Um, they, they do get a little bit claustrophobic for anybody sat in the back. Especially if there's two like six foot odd passengers in the front and blocking all the light out from the front screen and you've got privacy glass in the back. We've had a few of these evokes just recently. Uh, I think they're probably the best looking four wheel drive on the road. This has got the black roof as well it's stolen away grey with the black pillars and black roof uh, having said that the majority of the black roof is made up of this glass again privacy glass roof kind of thing stop you getting too hot you've got the button here and you'll see what I mean here by the the way the interior changes It's a bit like one of when one of my old girlfriends used to walk into the room. Yeah, well, enough of that. Let's open that up. <laughs> We've got heated front screen as well, which is a tremendous option. Just uh, approaching numbskull roundabout where I take my life in my hands every day. Tell you what, why don't you pick a lane and stick to it? You absolute numpty.
as I've said before, it's always awkward coming up here. It is a 50 mile an hour limit. I am doing 50 mile an hour, but I'm turning right and uh, they tend to speed up here and drive right behind you, um, wanting you to move over. There's gonna be a Mr. Lane Changer here. He's just coming up and undertaking that guy. Ooh, that was a close one. This is the place where we test the suspension. The paddle shift is working. Unfortunately, we managed to get stuck behind this lorry. So we won't be doing any, uh, I suppose, last, last minute. No, no, no creaks or knocks from the suspension. No, I don't want to get too close to him because no doubt all his cargo will be dropping off. <laughs> My uh, new GoPro 9 should have been here today. When I ordered it, I asked to, for it to be delivered to the garage, but um, they've tried to deliver it to my house so consequently instead of just getting it delivered I've now got to go to the depot between 6 and 8 tonight I think when uh, service advisors get sacked they, they they go into the order rooms at camera places. Very, very rough road here. But uh, nice and nice and smooth in the evoke. It's also got something else I, I quite like. Um, I like kind of simple touches. I like puddle lights on cars that show the make of the vehicle. Um, this car has got aluminium scuff plates on the sills, but they're illuminated. So Range Rover's illuminated in blue. And I, I think it, you know, I think it looks really good. I don't suppose there's many people that see it, and there's only you <laughs> when you get in the car. But, uh... well, we just had the alloy wheels refurbed on this as well, so um, they're absolutely like brand new. Car drives great, no wheel balancing issues. So I'll uh, kind of finish the test drive there. Again, just remind you, if you're watching this in the future um, and you're looking for something like this, please look at our, take a, a, a peek at our website, www.ggcars.co.uk. Um, we've got all our, our current stock on there and uh, we've got all our sold stuff and all our videos and uh, Hope to see you in the next video, which will probably, well, we've, we've, I think we've had five cars delivered today. A 2010 Range Rover, a Mini, um, we've got a, a Toyota RAV4, crikey, what else? I can't remember what else. <laughs> um, as soon as I pull up as well, I'll show you how to set the sat-nav in this, how to pair a mobile, how to delete a mobile how to stream audio and uh, I'll, I'll put it in the link so we'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so uh, any comments any ideas anything you'd like to see can't promise I'll do them 
especially not if they're uh, physically impossible. Uh, but uh, I, I always like to I always like to try and improve the videos and uh, just say if you have any ideas or what you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. That's it. Ta-da.